Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. A lot of exciting news coming out, and I just want to dive right in. Distributed ledgers and the governance of money directly from the BIS. And basically getting into the focus of it is also in the summary that blockchain tech breathes new life into the classical analysis of money as memory i.e. as a substitute for the ledger of all past transactions where holding money is a record of goods sold and services rendered. Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT, is a record-keeping device that has no need of a central authority to support trading, but it can do so more efficiently and robustly than a traditional centralized exchange. And how can a balance be struck between decentralization, a robust consensus, an adequate transaction flow as set out in Buterin's blockchain trilemma. And even though this is um, a last sentence directly um, discussing Vitalik Buterin's uh, Ethereum with the blockchain trilemma, when you get into the blockchain, which is also known as DLT, Distributed Ledger Technology, you're going to get into where they said the, uh, you know, a centralized exchange. One thing that's very important um, for the new investors and also to remember you know for xrp xlm holders what sets them apart differently for cross-border remittance etc is because inside of stellar and inside of ripple is the exchange so that is a, a very significant part that sets them apart from other companies and other assets out there company being ripple and stellar asset being xrp xlm for the new investor and I tend to blur the lines a little bit here um, sometimes in the discussion because I think if you've been around a while you you already medically understand and you know again some of us have been around since uh, open coin and ripples which now has become ripple and XRP back in the day XRP used to be called ripples and the company was trench from open coin to ripple so then it got really confusing one thing david um schwartz aka joel katz and always mentioned uh there was a a comment i can't remember if it was a, on twitter like a post or if it was something he said and you know so many hours of research of course it kind of just blurs the line of of just remembering that he actually said it versus on whether it was a, an interview or whether he had written it or something on Twitter. But he had mentioned that he actually liked um, when XRP was called Ripples. And I, that was a cool thing, I thought, um, you know, just as a memory that's just always floating back there. So going into the next um, article here is MoneyGram International launches a new pilot on Stellar. So I'm going to get into that just, <clears throat> you know, briefly here. So MoneyGram International announced a partnership with the Stellar Development Foundation, SCF, to integrate Stellar blockchain into MoneyGram's network and enable cash funding and payout in local currency with Stellar USDC, which is a, a circle, uh, Jeremy Allaire's USDC, but now also built on Stellar. So complete with near instant back-end settlement capabilities, the collaboration between MoneyGram and SDF has enabled one of the quickest, most seamless integrations yet. And I did share um, a, a video on this today. And that was another part of a thought that I, when I was tweeting earlier, when I said, uh, it seems a lot of things are getting pushed off from this year, just more and more things keep getting pushed into 2022. And every single time I think of 2022, I think of Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse with the clock 222. So we know 2022 that they were going to push it off and i think that was probably the best thing that he could do to tell us you know without getting in a little bit of a bind so to speak but in just a little over a month moneygram and sdf have hit the first major milestone of the partnership by launching a live cash in cash out pilot in the u.s pilot participants can now deposit into their digital wallets at participating MoneyGram locations and send payments internationally via Stellar USDC. And the pilot also lets participants exchange Stellar, 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 Stellar. Try that again. Let Stellar USDC for any cash currency supported on the MoneyGram platform. But the 
video that I showed earlier today too on Twitter from literally this example. He goes um, directly from YouTube, the, the Stellar account, where he's showing a sample and he said this, I, I believe, you know, forgive me for the exact wording. It was basically for the staff could use it now, but it was going live in 2022 as well for anyone um any customer could actually use that so um i thought that was a pretty big deal and a pretty significant uh discussion to get into as well and if you have time check out uh digital asset daily on twitter if you have an account uh for those of you who follow on youtube and other um platforms uh we, we posted the video there i will be playing a video shortly which is pretty amazing you, it doesn't even matter how long you've been into crypto or digital assets for if you've been here since 2008 or if you've been here you know if, if today is your first introduction into learning about this new asset class which is digital assets you know a lot of people uh the different titles you know crypto digital asset digital currency virtual currencies and we tend to stay with digital asset as that seems to be where the future is labeling everything. So that's what we do. And we discuss it here daily, hence the name Digital Assets Daily. So going into the next article, and I'm going to bring up a few more things just before we get into this video. I, I don't, you know, I think it's going to be safe to play. Yeah, shouldn't get into any kind of trouble with that one, but uh, we're going to give it a shot and see where it takes us. But either which way, smart lands in the Ukraine International Commodity Exchange. So earlier this week, um, they announced the signing of a partnership agreement between smart lands and Ukraine's oldest establishment and main commodity exchange. So usually referred to by its initials as a UICE. And with this article, you intend to give some background to the agreement and describe how it will benefit smart lands moving forward. And this is another thing I want to bring up. Actually, let me finish the next paragraph because I think it's pretty, pretty big deal. But first, a little bit of history in its current form. The UICE has been in business for 27 years, during which it has carried out more than 80,000 auctions for commodities such as LPG, crude oil, condensate bitumen and countless other industrial products in addition to foreign exchange futures and stock derivatives and if you don't know much about derivatives do a little google search on that and see if you can find the imaging of uh, the derivatives versus uh the usd across uh, globally pretty significant it will probably blow your mind if you've never seen it before but one thing too um uh, for the new investors and people who are new to this channel, one thing I want to bring up as well, it runs on the Stellar Open Network. So that's another great thing about Stellar. Also, too, unlike a lot of other um, networks, to use the Stellar Network, you have to, or I should say it requires you to have the XLM. So that's pretty significant and a big difference from other uh, networks. And just for the new investors, Ukraine government picks Stellar Development Foundation to help build national digital currency. The Stellar Development Foundation's work with Ukraine's government to digitize the Hrvania will officially launch this month. And that was kind of in case you missed it, January 4th of this year. So again, that's the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency, again, will be built on Stellar. Now here's something you know, I want to play this. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with YouTube on this one. We'll see how it goes. But um, I definitely want you to, if you have two minutes and 18 seconds additional to this video, take a moment and watch this if you have not seen it. The world is full of tensions, all simultaneously pulling on the fabric of our financial system. Hola, ma. ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué pasa? Mira, estoy acá afuera del banco. Ah, pero está cerrado. Qué porquería. ¿Pero qué están haciendo? Déjeme pasar, que necesito sacar dinero. El avertissement interviene après que plusieurs rapports ont fait surface sur des voyageurs qui se font voler de force leur argent à des barrages. And that is exactly where we see change peering through. 
change that is powered by those who have the skills to create it. Change that includes the unincluded. A change that enables all the financial world has to offer to anyone, anywhere. Driven by technology that helps people to truly own what is theirs. De l'argent pour mon téléphone, s'il te plaît. Combien? Le tout. We are the bridge builders, connecting those who seek opportunities to those who dare to create them. On est réfugiés, non pas de smartphones. On est d'accord. Bah, on se appuie en tout cas sur ces téléphones. Vous en pensez quoi? Our calling is to create tools for doing good by doing well. Ah, no te preocupes. Yo te mando plata. And doing well ah, by doing good. Mais vous entrez dans le camp avec l'intention délibérée d'intimider et de voler de l'argent, prenant les dernières épargnes de ceux qui ont plus besoin. And bridge technical and physical borders with technology for real world problems. Look. See the opportunities. We just need a way to bridge the obstacles. To create a more just world by acknowledging that everyone is valuable and empower local solutions to solve local problems. The Stellar Network, a universe of opportunity. So I think that's pretty significant. I think it's a huge deal. You know, a lot of people, um, if you're familiar and you're living a good life, it might not be as impressive and it still is going to be hard not to be, but as it would be for those who don't have the technology and are who are living a little bit more distant than the bigger first, second world cities. That means anywhere in the world, they can receive money directly from phone to phone, person to person, without having to go to the bank. And again, on the Stellar Network, just like with the Ripple Network and XRP and XLM, I mean, you're doing a three to five second sending, clearing, settlement all at once and ready to spend in literal seconds. So this new asset class and this new technology this disruptive uh, technology is going to be massive for the world who is sitting there waiting and unaware but for you guys who are here today they can hear the sound of my voice you're still part of the pioneering we're still very very early there's a lot of wealth to be made for all of you investors just have to have the courage to hold the patience to wait and the diamond hands and guys one day we will be celebrating and talking about this adventure that we've spent and done together and having a lot of celebratory laughs over the the memories that we've made and again guys i want to say um you know this is not financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only and as always before we go i want to leave you with a final thought if you aren't willing to work for it don't complain about not having it. I want to say thanks to each and every one of you and to our VIP on Patreon, Surfmeister. Much love, and we will catch you in the next one.